In last month's budget, the government announced the freezing of certain allowances for the next five years, allowances that we would normally see increase year on year to account for inflation. One of those freezes is the inheritance tax allowance, which, if you're not careful, is a hefty bill. The current allowance has actually been frozen for some time now, but it is set to be frozen until 2026. So I wanted to share some ways on how you can make sure you can reduce your inheritance tax bill. So without further ado, I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Pow. So just as a reminder, inheritance tax is actually a tax on a person's estate when they pass away. Now the current standard rate of inheritance tax is at 40% and this will be charged above the allowance threshold which currently stands at £325,000. So for example, let's say we have an estate worth £600,000. The first 325K will be tax free and the inheritance tax will be charged on the remaining £275,000, which will be a bill of 110K. So now you can see how freezing this allowance for the next five years can be detrimental to someone. In a normal status quo, we would expect this allowance to increase year on year to account for the rising cost of living. As you can see here, this current tax allowance has actually been frozen since 2009 and is now set to be frozen until 2026. This is estimated to secure HMRC with an extra 985 million pounds in cash. An interesting fact for you, well, I think it's interesting, if the government were actually increasing the allowance in line with the rising costs, the allowance should stand today at £450,000. So you can see we're a fair bit off from that. So how can someone go about minimizing their inheritance tax bill? Before I go on, I just want to state that I am not a financial advisor. This is purely for educational purposes. Um, please do seek out professional advice if needed. Now, the first one being is something called the seven year rule. Now, it's actually crazy to think that if you give someone a gift and you later pass away, this can actually be charged with inheritance tax. This is where the seven year rule comes in. So if you give someone a gift and you pass away within the next seven years, this gift will be considered as part of your estate and will be subject to inheritance tax. The tax rates are on a sliding scale. So the closer you are to the seven year mark, the less inheritance tax you'll have to pay. So for example, as you can see in this diagram, if you gift and you pass away within the first three years, you'll be subject to the full 40% standard rate tax. If you end up passing away after six years, this will be reduced to 8%. And of course, if you pass away after seven years, it will no longer be classed as your estate and therefore will not be subject to inheritance tax. Now, it's this seven year mark that is quite crucial. So if you were thinking about passing something on when you do pass away, I know that sounds morbid. You may want to consider passing it on a bit sooner while you are still alive to avoid the possibility of being charged inheritance tax that you would normally be faced with if you waited in the event of your death. So I know what you're thinking, but what if I give someone like a small box of chocolates for Christmas? Are you expecting me to pay an inheritance tax on this? No. Now this leads me on to my next point, which is gift allowances. Now there are some gifts that are exempt from the inheritance tax, and therefore you don't have to worry about the seven year rules with these ones. In addition, you also have certain gift allowances that you can use every tax year, and you may want to make sure that you are using them while you are alive to help reduce the inheritance tax bill on the date of your passing. So one of these allowances is that you are allowed to give away 3,000 pounds in gifts every tax year which starts from the 6th of April to the 5th of April and any gifts within this £3,000 will not be considered part of your estate and therefore will not be subject to inheritance tax. You can carry forward any unused allowances onto the following year but you can only do this for one year. You also have an allowance of £1,000 to give to per person at a wedding or civil ceremony. This is allowance is actually up to £5,000 if the people in question are your actual children or £2,500 if they are your grandchildren or great-grandchildren. Gifts from your actual income to pay for things like Christmas or birthday presents are not considered part of your state and therefore will not be subject to the tax. Now, I find this is a bit of a gray area when it comes to the actual definition of what a gift is that can be subject to this tax. But what the government have advised is that 
uh, you should be able to maintain the same standard of living once you have given this gift. Payments to help another person's living costs will also not be subject to inheritance tax. And also gifts to charities, political parties, and or local sports clubs, provided they are based here in the UK, will not be subject to inheritance tax. In addition, if you contribute at least 10% of your estate to one of these groups, the standard rate of tax will be reduced from 40% down to 36%. You can also give as many gifts as you want up to the value of 250 pounds in the same tax year, just as long as the person that you're giving it to hasn't already used one of the gift exemptions that I've already mentioned previously. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notification bell on. I release a video every single week talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money. The next thing that you can do is making a will. Now, making a will is imperative if you are concerned about who inherits your assets when you do pass away, but it is also a great way to organize your assets so you can reduce your inheritance tax bill as most as possible. Two of the most tax efficient ways to do this is one, leave everything to your spouse or civil partner. Leaving your estate or even part of your estate to your spouse or civil partner will be exempt from inheritance tax. In addition to this, they'll also inherit unused inheritance tax allowances from you so they can potentially get another 325,000 pounds added on to their allowance when they pass away. The second most efficient way is to leave your house to your children or your grandchildren. Now in 2017, the government introduced another additional tax allowance on top of the 325, which gives homeowners an extra 175K in allowances if the house is passed on to your children, any stepchildren or grandchildren, or any of their spouses and civil partners. Now, just like before, any unused allowances will be moved on to your spouse or civil partner. Now, that probably was a bit confusing, so let me break it down with an example. Let's say we have a person called Carol and her estate is worth 800,000 pounds. And when she passes away, she gives everything to her wife, Susan. Now, this will not be subject to inheritance tax because Susan and Carol are a married couple. Therefore, there is no limit to what can be exempt from inheritance tax. In addition, Carol used none of her 325K inheritance tax allowance, nor did she use any of the additional allowances, which allows you to pass it on to your children um, of 175K. So both these allowances get passed on to Susan. Now, when Susan passes away, she leaves everything to her son, Ben, and the value of her estate is now worth one million pounds. But because of the allowances that she's inherited from Carol, plus the allowances that she has for herself, she pays zero inheritance tax. And I'll put an illustration on the board of how that actually breaks down. So therefore, writing a will is crucial in trying to help you reduce your inheritance tax bill. Another thing that you can do is to put some of your assets within a trust. Now, any assets within a trust will not be considered as part of your estate and therefore will not be subject to inheritance tax. Now, for those that don't know what a trust is, imagine a big vault and anything that you put inside this vault will not be considered as part of your estate and therefore not subject to inheritance tax. Now, things you can put in a trust are things like money, uh, precious metals, could be jewelry or family heirlooms, and each vault or trust will have a beneficiary. And this is the person that will inherit this trust um, according to your wishes. Now, this can be in the event of your death um, or maybe when they turn 18 or when they get married, it's totally up to you. But this is a great way of how a trust can help minimize your inheritance tax bill. Now, the fifth thing is that you can get life insurance. Now, you can get specific life insurance that will cover the liability of paying inheritance tax. You just need to make sure that this policy is written in a trust and therefore it will not be considered as part of your estate. But in the event that you will be charged inheritance tax, this life insurance will cover it. But obviously you will have to pay a monthly premium to get hold of this benefit. And finally, last but not least, another way that you can help reduce your inheritance tax bill 
is to just spend your money. This is what your whole life has worked up towards, so you might as well enjoy it. Go on holidays, travel the world if you can, spend it on things that you wouldn't normally do on a day-to-day -day basis, perhaps. So yeah, enjoy is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> cool, so that is it for this week's episode. Now, I know this isn't a full list of what you can do to help reduce your inheritance tax bill, but these are what I thought were the key ones, and this is why I wanted to mention them in this video. Please do leave a comment down below if you think I have missed another key way of saving on inheritance tax. And as always, if you did really enjoy this video and you found it really useful, please do smash that like button. That does wonders for the very small YouTube channel that I am as it allows more people to see it. And as always, I release a video every single week. So if you wanna keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button as well. See you later, bye.